here with NC State's Sophie Hansen, NCAA champion, three times now today in the 100 breast and the 200 medley relay. Dude, take me through your session. I mean, it's been a crazy night, and we had so much fun as a team, and we just came in with, like, such a good momentum, and we just ride it along and had so much fun. Yeah, I mean, can you take me through your race in the 100 breast specifically? Um, honestly, I don't remember much. I kind of has a blackout from the actual race, but going into the race, I was trying to open a little bit faster than this morning and then just bring it home as fast as I could and really focus on that last pullout to get as much speed with me into the last 25 as I possibly could. Yeah. Do, how, how are you feeling before that race? You know, knowing that, that an NCAA title was a definite possibility. Um, I was feeling good. I was pretty confident with my swimming and in warm up, I felt great. So I knew I was in good shape and I was really excited to race. And is, is this a race that you have thought about for two years now, especially knowing that, you know, Lily King had graduated and then last year, obviously losing that opportunity after the meet was canceled. Yeah, no, definitely. Last year I was in such a good shape and like, you know, it got canceled just a few days ahead and I was so sad and devastated about that. So winning this year is feel like I got a revenge for not being able to compete and show what I had last year. Yeah. And then I, I know I talked to your sister Louise at some point, but I don't, did, did you go back to Sweden for a period um, after, after, you know, the COVID lockdown started in 2020? Yes. Um, I actually went back a week after NCAA got canceled and I stayed home for almost 10 months and came back to America in January. Okay. So the, what, what was your motivation then for coming back when you did, um, especially with this, this Olympic, Olympic Games on the horizon? Um, I came back training here in America and with the team is so much fun. And I felt like after being home for a semester and I saw that they were able to train continuously because that was what I was afraid of, that I would come back and not be able to train. So that's why I stayed at home. But knowing that they've been training for an entire semester without like any complications, that, that gave me the confidence that coming back is the best option for me. Yeah. What, what was training like that fall semester and I guess the summer and spring as well in Sweden? No, it was really good. I had my sister there for the first part of it, which was great. And then she left for England and we were a small group of people that were training, but we had a good environment and Brayden sent me practices from America and I stayed in touch with the team and everything. So I was doing similar things to what they were doing. Do you and Luis just train IM sets and see like Luis goes out and then you try to catch her at the end? Because that's what I envision. <laughs> we, we are not. We, we don't train a lot IM. We don't. But that would be fun. Maybe we should try it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, I mean, are you guys, I'm sure you're competitive, but what is it like training with her, especially because you guys have such different focuses? Yeah, no, like even though we train together, we obviously swim different strokes and we don't necessarily do the same set even though we're training together but just having her there next to me training and I know she has similar goals to me and that just really helps I know that even though we swim different things and have different plans like the end goal are kind of similar yeah and and then getting back to NC State did you notice just a shift with yourself mentally and emotionally and maybe even physically um, you know getting (laughs) back to Raleigh and to this team yeah, no, definitely. First of all, it was kind of a adjustment to start swimming in yards again when I've been swimming in meters for a long time. But it was so much fun coming back with the team. Like I said, I was swimming with five swimmers back in Sweden and then suddenly have a team of 60 people. And that gave me a lot of uh, power. And like it was so much fun coming to practice every day and having all my friends there. So now it's been great being back. And, and then fast forward to the end of the night tonight, um, the tuner medley relay, you know, obviously you guys ran away with it last night in the 400. How are you feeling coming into tonight? I was just so excited. Like I knew all of the girls in my team, like are in such a good shape. And now we, we would just came in and had a lot of fun and we were like, that's what we did last night. Like we didn't think about it too much. We just jumped in and did our best and we did the same tonight. 
Awesome. Uh, well, cool. Congratulations again, Sophie, and thank, thank you, you for your time. Thank you. Here with NC State's Catherine Burkhoff, NCAA champion in the 100 back and, and, and the 200 medley relay. Um, can you take me through your night? Um, I was just really nervous, but super excited. Um, I was, I don't know. I just knew as soon as like our first girls swam, they were doing really well. I knew it was going to be a good night. So it gave me a lot of confidence. Um, but I just had so much fun the whole way through. Yeah. Can you, can you take me through your hundred back race? Do you remember much of it? Yeah, I was really nervous. I was, um, I just remember thinking like, I don't know. I just have to go out fast because I knew my last 25 would be pretty good. But, um, yeah, I just knew if I wanted to break 50, I had to go out really quick. But I was so relieved. Uh, it, it felt really good on that last 25. The underwater was felt good, I guess. Yeah. Could, could you see uh, Ryan White on that last 25? Yeah, I wasn't like – I was nervous though, just cause like, um, I could feel myself hurting quite a bit, but, um, I could see kind of what was going on around me. I just knew that underwater was good. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, you know, heading into the 200 medley relay, you guys obviously won last night. Um, what were you thinking leading off that relay and just kind of what was the team vibe heading into it? It was so much fun. We were all so pumped because we had Kylie get third, which was awesome. And then um, Sophie win and then me winning. We were just like the momentum was just so powerful. I think we were just so confident and we were having so much fun in the ready room. And Serena had her fastest split ever on that relay. So we were just like, we were so excited and in the ready room, they're playing some good music and everyone was dancing. It was so much fun. Yeah. And so to give this year a little context, um, you know, what, what, can, can you give me a breakdown of, of what training has looked like for you, maybe even just this spring and um, you know, kind of how that this has led into this championship season? Um, well, I used to be in the mid distance group last year, but I'm in the sprint group now. And I don't know how much that had to do with it because we didn't really get a chance to swim at the end of the season last year. But I like sprint training more, and I think I'm better at it. So um, I think that's been really helpful, but just, like, also being more confident in training. And especially this spring, moved a little more towards sprint even more than before. And, um, like, we rested a little for ACCs, but then hit it pretty hard for a a couple weeks and then did like sort of a drop taper and I guess it worked pretty well for a lot of us. Nice. Was the uh, move to sprint group your decision? Uh, The coach's decision? Um, It was Braden's decision, but I was all for it. (laughs) (laughs) Did he give you any insight as to why he thought, you know, that was optimal for you? Um, I don't know. I I made it pretty clear in recruiting. I think that if I like I wanted to train with him and he, when Bobby left, he went to the sprint group. So I just kind of went with and it ended up working out pretty well, I think. Um, we missed Bobby, though, of course, but <laughs> um, I, I'm glad to be in sprint group. <laughs> I mean, it, it makes sense. Sprinting's so much fun. Uh, but what do you, what, what specifically do you like about uh, sprint group? Um, I just feel like, I don't know, maybe a little less intimidated by practices sometimes, but that's like the least of my concerns now. I think it's more just like fun. I can talk more during practice, <laughs> which is makes it a little more entertaining. That seems definitely like a win. Um, and so, so being in sprint group, how are you feeling about the 200 tomorrow? Um, I have, like, even though I made the transition, I still have, like, kept a few aerobic practices every week. And um, I don't know, like, Kylie's also with me in that she does a little more aerobic. Um, and I do, like, 200 practices, too. So I feel very confident.
confident. And when I have a good hundred, I like it makes me very confident for my two hundred. So I'm a lot less nervous now than I was before. Well, awesome, uh, Catherine. Again, congrats and thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. You've been listening to the Swim Swam podcast. Stay tuned for new episodes every week. You can take Swim Swam podcast on the go by subscribing on your favorite podcast platform. Look for links in the description below and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos as well.